Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I have with me a Yongno 12 to 35 f2.8 to f4 lens. I want to share my experience using this lens in this video. Let's do this. <laughs> Before we go further, here are some important disclaimers. Yongno did send me this lens. However, I made it very clear to Yongno that they have no control whatsoever in this video. Whatever I'm sharing here is 100% my honest opinion. This is not really a full review of this Yongno 12-35 lens. I'm merely sharing my experience of having used this lens and also the things that I like and dislike about this lens. I actually shot a full wedding reception using this Yongno 12-35. Unfortunately, I cannot share the shots from that particular wedding shoot because it is a private client. It is just wrong and unethical to share the shots here publicly for everyone to to see. Also, I've brought this lens out for some casual snapshots. Those photographs I can share in this video. Taking a closer look at this Yongno 12-35 lens, it has a variable aperture starting from bright f2.8 to f4. I thought that's very respectable. It keeps the size down, yet it offers bright aperture, brighter than usual kit lenses, say that starts from f3.5 to f5.6. I see that this Yongno 12-35 is a step up from kit lenses, the typical 14-42 to from Olympus or the 12-32 from Panasonic, yet it offers brighter aperture and better optical quality. It is not at on the same par as say the Olympus 12-40 f2.8 Pro or the Panasonic 12-35 f2.8. These are still high-grade lenses. This Yongno 12-35 it offers the middle ground and looking at the price range that's also about right. I really like the design of the lens. It is in all black, it looks minimalist, it looks really slick, it matches the design of my OMD cameras very well. In terms of size and weight, this lens also handles really well with my EM1 Mark II. The lens feels balanced on the camera body. I use this combination for a full wedding reception shoot. I have no issues whatsoever. The lens handles really well. There are four controls on the lens itself. The manual focusing ring, the zoom ring, autofocus to manual focusing switch, and a dedicated macro switch. We're going to talk about the macro function a little bit later. I really appreciate that this lens has internal zooming mechanism as well as internal focusing mechanism. Zoom. The internal zoom means that as you zoom from wide angle to telephoto or vice versa, the lens does not extend and this keeps the size of the lens really compact. Also, Yono claims that this lens is weather sealed. This Yongno 12-35 has an optical construction of 14 elements in 11 groups. It also has 4 aspherical lenses and 3 low dispersion lenses. That's plenty of good recipe in an optical formula. The lens renders really sharp results consistently shooting a wide open aperture from a wide angle 12mm 
all the way to the longest telephoto end of 35 millimeters. The sharpness improves a little bit as I stop down the aperture a little bit further. In terms of technical flow control, the lens handles it really well. I don't see any serious issues, no severe corner softness or severe chromatic aberration. I didn't see any flare issues or distortion problems. Some of them are already corrected due to the software correction, but that's perfectly fine with me as long as I don't encounter any serious issues. The bokeh of the lens is also very good. I get very soft, pleasing, creamy smooth background blur. I also get really good close-up shooting with this lens. It has a dedicated macro function which allows you to go really close to the subject, a lot closer than other normal lenses. There are several things that I dislike about this Yono 12-35 lens. Number one, I don't like that the zoom direction of this lens is the opposite of what we get from Olympus lenses. I'm so used to using the Olympus 12-40 Pro zooming in one direction and using this Yono lens, it is the opposite direction and I always zoom to the wrong direction when I was in my job doing the wedding reception. I understand that if you are coming from the Panasonic lenses, they zoom the other direction, which is the same as these Yono lenses, so it shouldn't be a problem for you. I just thought that they are all in Micro Four Thirds system. They should have synchronized the zoom direction. I thought it would make more sense for everyone to be on the same page. Anyway, that was not a deal breaker. However, I was also not happy with the autofocus performance of this lens. The Yono 12-35, the autofocus is generally fast and quite reliable but it is not on the same level as Olympus lenses. Say what I can get from the Olympus 12-40 f2.8 Pro, that autofocus is blazing fast and is a lot more reliable in comparison to this 12-35. Again, by no means is autofocus on this lens slow, it is just not as fast. Lastly, my one complaint is about a weird chromatic aberration. There are some weird color fringing which I haven't noticed in most other lenses, there is this blue and orange fringing in bright contrast areas which I thought was really weird and may be difficult to correct on this lens. I'm sure some people will ask, hey Robin, how do you compare this Yono 12-35 to Olympus 12-40 Pro or the Panasonic 12-35 f2.8 lens? Now, I cannot say anything about the Panasonic 12-35 f2.8 because I don't have that lens and I have not used that extensively. But I've used this Olympus 12-40 f2.8 Pro for, I don't know, eight years, 10 years now, and it has been my main lens for a lot of my photography jobs. Now, it is quite simple. In terms of size, they are both about the same. But in terms of build quality, the Olympus 12-40 is so much better constructed. It is made of full metal construction and it feels a lot more solid in hand. Now this Olympus 12-40 also offers the advantage of constant f2.8 bright aperture. You zoom from 12, you go all the way to 40 millimeters, you get constant f2.8 versus this 12-35 Yongno. From f2.8, from wide angle, it stops down to f4 at the telephoto end, so you lose about one stop of light. Now, other than that, in terms of image quality, there is no doubt that this Olympus 12-40 is superior. The sharpness, the fine details, the contrast, the technical flow control, everything about this 12-40 f2.8 Pro from Olympus is just better if you want to pixel pick and compare against this Yono 12-35. However, this Yono also has some features that this Olympus 12-40 doesn't have. The Yono has internal zoom mechanism. As you zoom from 12-35, the lens does not extend, whereas this Olympus 240, it extends out. And this Yono also has a dedicated macro function which allows you to go a lot 
closer to your subject, which allows you to do a little bit more in your photography in comparison to what you can do with this 12 to 40 Olympus lens. Now, all in all, if you already have this Olympus 12 to 40 Pro, it doesn't make sense to get this Yono 12 to 35. But if you start up from a lower level setup, say you have the kit lens 14 to 42 or the Panasonic 12 to 32 kit lens, and you're looking to upgrade, but you don't want to spend so much money, this Yono 12 to 35 is the perfect middle ground. It costs about half of what this Olympus 12 to 40 2.8 Pro is asking for. It's also about half of what the Panasonic 12 to 35 f 2.8 is asking for, and it offers a lot more it offers better image quality, better performance than the kit lenses. So it depends on what you want. If you have the budget, of course, I'll fully push this Olympus 12 to 40. But if budget is a concern, this Yono 12 to 35 is not a bad lens to consider. That's all I have to share about this Yongno 12 to 35 f2.8 to f4 lens. I hope you've enjoyed looking at my brief sharing. This is not meant to be a full review, but if you want a detailed comparison between this Yono 12 to 35 versus the Olympus 12 to 40 Pro lens, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a video to have side-by-side -side comparison. Other than that, if you've enjoyed looking at the photographs I've shared in this video, if you found my sharing benefit please consider buy me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal links in the description below on how you can do that any small contribution goes a long way will definitely help me to continue making more similar videos and publish them right here until the next one please go out and take more photographs bye bye